It is the office from which the purges were ordered, the wood-panelled room from which the great terror was unleashed. The office of successive chairmen of the KGB, put on view today by those now trying to restructure the secret police after the organization's head plotted to overthrow Mikhail Gorbachev. Within view of the base of the toppled statue of Felix Zhezhinsky is the man who represents the KGB's public face. General Alexander Kabainov says the organization has once again had its reputation tarnished by politicians intent on power. Вот надо сделать так, чтобы этого в будущем не было. Надо сделать вот такие, ну, надежные механизмы, гарантированные механизмы, чтобы никто не смог использовать органы КГБ для достижения политических целей. Потому что это терроризм по-другому, когда используется что-то для достижения политических целей. Zhezhinsky's office suite in the heart of the Lubyanka was used by secret police chiefs from the time he founded the organization in 1918 until 1987. KGB officials say in those years, four million people died at the hands of secret agents. Human rights groups believe the figure is nearer 40 million. The cells where thousands were once interrogated are now a canteen. Officials say no one has been held here since 1953. Today, the policy of fear introduced to defend the Bolshevik revolution has been revoked. Russian President Boris Yeltsin says the KGB must protect human rights. The KGB says it now wants to start working for the people, not against them. Some victims of its past methods say that it will take more than good public relations in the future to erase their memories of terror. Gathering today opposite the Lubyanka at the memorial to those who died at the KGB's hands, some who cannot forget. Susanna Pachuro was arrested in 1951. She was 17 and spent five years in prison for anti-communist activities. She was told she would have been shot if she'd been a year older. Today, with other former inmates from the Komi hard labor camp in Siberia, she was reliving the past week. They showed each other how they manned the barricades around the Russian parliament to protect democracy. They say they don't believe the KGB can change. Неправда это. Мы в это не верим ни на минуту. Они будут сейчас перекрашиваться, они будут сейчас, э, они будут э, надевать на себя, так сказать, маску, потому что они просто боятся. Не бывает такого. Вчера он был волком, а сегодня стал овцой. Не бывает, и мы им не верим. Именно потому мы боремся. Maya Kromova lost six relatives in the Stalinist purges, her entire family, she says. They all welcome the fact that the KGB's archives have not been destroyed. History, they say, must not be rewritten. Viktor Bulgakov was arrested two hours before Stalin died and held in the Lubyanka, a building he calls a symbol of fear. I think there is no rana. There is no rana. There should be such a strange place for everyone who wears this protection of the KGB. Но э, доверять рано нельзя сейчас. Нельзя. Слишком часто отсюда исходила ложь, обман, коварный обман. Нельзя еще не Даже сейчас. Даже сейчас. Within the Lubyanka, they acknowledge that however hard they try to change the KGB's image and even its role, the past will always hang above it. Народная память, она очень, как говорится, длинна и передается из поколения в поколение. И тот кровавый след, который оставили органы госбезопасности, к сожалению, в истории страны, он долго не зарастет. Но нам нужно идти по этому пути. Нельзя все время, так сказать, вот, ну, что ли, поддерживать эту кровавую дорожку. Надо когда-то сделать так, чтобы эта река заросла, и чтобы, э, как говорится, в жизни Attending today's Supreme Soviet session was former KGB Major General Oleg Kalugin. Stripped of his honors by Mikhail Gorbachev after warning that the secret police could be used in an attempted coup, 
he says it is possible to restructure the KGB and give it a useful role. What we have to do in the first place is to dismantle the organization and hand over many of its functions to either other ministries or simply annul them altogether. The organization must not have the unlimited powers it used to have. And when we have a, uh, a small, tight, and mobile unit, a, par a part of uh, the organization, but not a state within a state, then I think this will be a, not a danger to any democratic process to the future of this country. For those who remain working within the Lubyanka, the image of Dzerzhinsky being removed last Thursday serves as a reminder of how the people reacted to seven decades of repression. Мне жаль, что снесен памятник, но я думаю, к сожалению, это расплата, расплата за всю историю страны, расплата сегодняшнего народа или плата или ответ, скажем так, сегодняшнего народа тем руководителям, которые, в общем-то, вели нас на протяжении этих вот 70 с лишним лет. The view from Zhezhinsky's window has now changed forever. For World Monitor, I'm Simon Marks in Moscow.